Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, there lived a wise old monk named Master Kuma. Master Kuma was known far and wide for his profound wisdom and his ability to understand the thoughts and feelings of those around him. One day, a curious young villager named Aiko approached Master Kuma and asked, Master, how do you read people's minds? It seems like you always know what others are thinking and feeling. Master Kuma smiled kindly and motioned for Aiko to join him on a bench beneath a blossoming cherry tree. He began to share a tale, a story that held the key to understanding the depths of human hearts. Long ago, Master Kuma began, there was a young traveler named Hiro. He journeyed from village to village, seeking to learn the secrets of the world. One day, as he walked through a dense forest, he encountered an injured bird with a broken wing. Hiro, being compassionate, carefully picked up the wounded bird and cradled it in his hands. He felt the subtle warmth of its fragile body and saw the fear in its eyes. Despite not speaking the bird's language, Hiro sensed its pain and suffering. Master Kuma paused, allowing the essence of the story to sink in. Aiko looked thoughtful, waiting for the monk to continue. Through this experience, Master Kuma continued, Hiro learned a valuable lesson. He discovered that to understand another being, one must embrace empathy and connect with the silent language of the heart. It's not about reading minds, but rather, feeling the emotions that others carry within them. Aiko nodded in understanding, realizing the simplicity and depth of the lesson. Master Kuma concluded, in the same way, my dear Aiko, to read people's minds, you must open your own heart. Listen with your empathy, observe with your compassion, and feel with your understanding. People's thoughts may not always be spoken, but their emotions resonate in the air like the rustling leaves of the cherry tree. From that day forward, Aiko practiced the art of understanding without words, guided by the timeless wisdom of Master Kuma. And in doing so, he discovered the true essence of connecting with others, a lesson that echoed through the village for generations to come.